Hello boys and girls, how are you today? It's Miss Patty under this mask. I wore my special mask today because it's got some clues as to the type of story time we're doing today. If you look closely at the little pictures on it, it might tell you a little something. See if you can guess. I'll take it off so you can hear me a little bit better. But here we do have pictures of castles and crowns and looks like a little princess and some stars, along with a unicorn and a diamond ring. Let's see what that might bring. Hmm, if you guessed fairy tales, then you are correct. That's what we are going to be learning about today. But before we do, let's sing hello. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. We're all here for story time. We clap and sing hello. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. We're all here for story time. We wave and say hello. We nod and say hello. We nod and say hello. We're all here for story time. We nod and say hello. Well, hey, hi, hi ho There are many ways to say hello. So hi, hello, and how do you do? I'm Miss Patty, and how are you? I hope you're all doing well. And like I said, we're talking about fairy tales today because they go along well with our summer reading theme, which is imagine your story. And fairy tales take a lot of imagination. And some of them you may have heard before and some may, you may have not heard before because there are a lot of fairy tales out there. So what we're gonna do first is talk about what makes fairy tales special. And there are some certain clues that will tell you if something is a fairy tale. And one of them is they have special beginnings. They start off sometimes with once upon a time or once there was or long, long ago in a land far, far away. Those are just some examples of how fairy tales might start. And then there are different settings. That setting is where the story takes place. Many of them take place in the woods or in castles, forests, or even a tower. They have some good characters like fairies, princesses, princes, and knights. And they sometimes have bad characters, scary witches, dragons, and ogres, other types of monsters too. They might have talking animals, pigs, wolves, and goats or characters with magical powers like elves, fairies, and objects that are magic, like wands. There might be some royalty, which means you're a prince, a princess, a king, or a queen. Sometimes special numbers are in their story, like the seven dwarves, that happens to be a fairy tale. Three little pigs, three bears, or three wishes. All examples of numbers in our fairy tales. The story could be based on love between a prince and a princess, a parent and a child, or just between friends. It could be a moral hmm, or a lesson to be learned from the story. Like with the three pigs, you build a strong foundation for anything. And that's a wise way to prepare you for anything. Special endings. You could say they lived happily ever after or was never seen again. He, she got what they deserved. And that's just some special things to know about fairy tales. So the next time you hear a story, you might be able to listen to those things and decide if it's a fairy tale or not. Here's an example here. This isn't a real fairy tale, but it includes a lot of those things that we just talked about. Once upon a time, in a land so far away, a prince kissed a frog. And that just made his day because he came 
Five pence. Here's a little pen. And far across town, Red Riding Hood took fright because she found her wolf in Granny's bed when she went to kiss her goodnight. Oh, fairy tales, fairy tales. Read them every day. Oh, what fun it is to hear how Goldilocks got away. Fairy tales, fairy tales, full of joy and laughter. Do you know how this one ends? Why it's happily ever after. That's how we end a lot of them. And we're going to do some stories today, but they're a little bit different than the books that we normally read. But we'll still sing our song. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, stomp your feet. If you want to hear a story, stomp your feet. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, stomp your feet. If you want to hear a story, sit, sit, sit. If you want to hear a story, sit, sit, sit. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, sit, sit, sit. So, our stories today are not going to be from a book, but they are going to be part of a puppet theater. Here is our theater that I made myself. And we've got some finger puppets that will give us some examples of fairy tales. And when I put these on, maybe you can guess what the fairy tale is. <laughs> it's about a little girl named Mary, and she had a little lamb. And its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her everywhere. And he followed her to school one day, mm -hmm. which was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play to see the lamb at school. <laughs> and so, the kids all have a ball with Mary and her lamb. And so the teacher turned it out, but still it lingered near and waited patiently about until Mary did appear. <laughs> What makes the lamb love Mary so? The eager children cry. Why, Mary loves the lamb, you know, the teacher did reply. So that's the story of Mary and her little lamb. Followed her to school. But lambs aren't allowed at school. Let's see what other finger puppets we have. I think you might know this story. It might sound a little familiar to you. It's about an egg. Let's see if you can guess who this egg is. <laughs> His name is Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Hmm. Humpty Tumpty took a great fall. Hmm. All the king's horses and all the king's men tried real hard. They couldn't put Humpty together again. Hmm. That one didn't exactly have a happy ending, poor Humpty. And here's another one about an animal, which we may have heard before too. It is called the Ugly Duckling, who I don't think is ugly at all. Once upon a time, ooh, remember that's how we said some of them would start. Once upon a time, a 
mother duckling. Hmm. Had three eggs. Hmm. And ready to be hatched. One of the eggs cracked open and a beautiful young duckling emerged. One of the eggs, however, just would not crack open. The duck sat on the edge for days and days and eventually a huge, ugly duckling. Oh, a huge, ugly duckling hatched out and waddled. The ugly duckling was very unhappy because all of the other ducks were not ugly like her. Hmm. And the brothers and sisters made fun and bit him as they teased him about the way he looked. Finally, the ugly duckling ran away. <laughs> and he hid in the bushes around the marsh for one whole winter. The poor ugly duckling was so sad and alone and he found a hut swimming around the icy waters. He wished that a cat or a dog would come and eat him up so that his misery would be ended. Hmm. That would be too sad though. One day early the next spring, the duckling saw three large white swans just like his mother. Hmm, and they're free. <laughs> and they were swimming towards him and he was very frightened that they were going to attack him. However, the swans did not attack him, but swim around him and stroked him with their bills, just like this one. Hmm. However, they told the ugly duckling that he was not ugly at all, but as beautiful as a white swan like them. He could not believe his eyes when he looked into the pond and saw his reflection in the water. Hey, I'm not an ugly duckling but a beautiful swan, he said. So he looked just like this one. Hmm. From that day on, he swam and played with his new friends, and he was happier than he'd ever been before. Now that's a happy ending. Let's see what we've got next. Hmm. One for each of my fingers. Let's see. There's a girl with blonde hair and the flowers. who lived in a cottage by the forest. They were Father Bear, Mother Bear, and Baby Bear. One morning, Mother Bear cooked some porridge and it was too hot to be eaten, so they decided to leave it to cool. And while they had their morning walk, they went into the village next to the forest where they lived a little girl with long golden hair. Hmm, here she is, her name, Goldilocks. When Goldilocks was out for her walk in the forest on that day, she saw the beer's house. She looked in through the windows and saw that nobody was home. So she went inside and she decided that she'd test out their porridge as well. And she saw the three bowls, so she realized she was very hungry. She tasted Father Bear's porridge, but this was too hot. She tasted Mother Bear's porridge, but it was too cold. Finally, she tested Baby Bear's porridge, which was just right, and she ate it all up. She decided to sit down for a while. She tried <laughs> Papa Bear's chair, 
but they were not comfortable. It was too big. She tried Mama Bear's chair, and that was also too big. So she settled on Baby Bear's chair, which was just right size. But she was actually a little too heavy for it, so it broke. Goldilocks started to be a very sleepy after that, so she decided to go upstairs to see if there was a bed that she could lay down on. First she tried Father, Father Bear's bed, but his was too hard. Then she tried Mother Bear's bed, and it was too soft. Finally she tried Baby Bear's bed, which was just right, and she soon fell asleep on Baby Bear's bed. And while she was sleeping, the three bears came home. And they did. They came into their carriage and noticed that someone had been eating their porridge. Baby Bear said, someone's been sitting on my chair and it is broken. They looked up over the house and eventually saw Goldilocks fast asleep on Baby Bear's bed. Goldilocks woke up and saw the bears looking angrily at her. She was very frightened, so she jumped up, and when she did, she ran through the forest and all the way back home, and never went to the three bears' house again. And at that point, I think everybody lived happily ever after. And that's the story of the three bears. So that's just a few fairy tales that you might have liked to hear. And in our library, we've also got a lot of fairy tales that you could check out. Some of them are books full of collections of fairy tales like this one. And then some are just single stories like this one. And lots and lots of others. So you can come in and check them out if you'd like. You can come to the library to check out now at certain times. Or you can have mom or dad call us or fill out a form online. Those are just the different ways that you can check out books now. Before we go, we want to talk about our letter today. The letter of the day is F for fairy tales. And F is also for feather, fence, flowers, fish, Flashlight, numbers four and five also begin with F, and so does the word flamingo. Look around today, see if you can come across any other words that begin with the letter F. It starts with the sound S. So look for words that begin with S. And that's our lesson for today. Until next week, bye-bye now.